Rachel here with Empower PT. Are you having difficulty trying to get your arms overhead or maybe having pain when you're trying to get the arms overhead? This video is for you. So you're going to need some type of broomstick or a pole and then you can lie down on your back. You'll take your arms straight up and then you'll take them up and overhead and then slowly bring the arms back up. Reaching the arms up and overhead, slowly bring the arms up. Notice how I have my palms turned towards me. Also, it's a good idea to bend your knees so you're making sure that you're not arching your back. Stay in a range that feels good, in a pain-free range. So if you feel any pain, then maybe you're going a little bit too far, just back off a little bit. You can also hold that stretch overhead for a few seconds and bring it back up. And you can do this for 20 reps. The next exercise I will show you is to strengthen your lower traps. So when we can't get our arms overhead, a lot of times it's due to upper trap tightness. So we need to strengthen our lower traps, which pull the scapula down the back. So if you feel like you're wearing your shoulders up into your ears, it's definitely going to be a lot harder to get the arms up. So letting those shoulders drop down, you'll get more range. So in order to strengthen your lower traps, we will go into a sideline position. I'll show you what it looks like first though from seated. So you're going to bend your elbow at 90 degrees and all you're doing is lifting your arm up and lowering it down. So you're starting with your elbow bent and we're lifting and lowering. So I'm just moving from the shoulder. Now from the front, this is what this looks like. And then I'll show you in the actual setup in side lines. So you'll need some sort of a pillow so you can be in proper positioning for your neck. Starting with that elbow bent, lifting it up and lowering it down. Moving from the shoulder joint. And you're trying to keep your hand up. So make sure you're not dropping your hand down with your elbow up, but you're trying to keep the alignment of your wrist, elbow, and shoulder the whole time. And you can do three sets of 10 on that. The next exercise we'll do is with a TheraBand up against the wall. And you're standing on the wall as close as you can get. Elbows pulled back, palms are facing up. Externally rotating and slowly coming back in. Make sure there's not a lot of movement from your upper arm. So it's just the forearms moving out, keeping those elbows up against the wall as you exhale, rotate out, inhale to come back in. And you can do that for three sets of 10. Now the last exercise I'll show you is slides up the wall. So I have a tubing type of band you can place that around your fingers, thumbs are out. You'll bring your forearms up against the wall and you're just going to slide up the wall and slide down the wall. You're pushing out into that band as best as you can. You wanna make sure that your elbows aren't splaying out as you slide up, but you're keeping your wrists stacked over the elbows as you lift and lower. And you can do that one also three sets of 10. 